What's going on guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. So let's take a look at my Farm Forge collection. We've looked at it before, but since the last time we visited this, there has been some subtraction and some addition. So the collection has sort of changed. We're just going to basically hit on the collection and focus on the additions to the collection. But before we get into the Fair and Forge collection, let's do a quick wrist check. I'm wearing the Islander Watches ISL 60. This is the Blue Dial Monster. I love the Monster Style Watch, and Islander makes the best monsters out there. And I'm carrying the Damn Designs Hades. This is the older version of the Hades with the thumb stud. The new version on the website has the thumb hole. Looking forward to getting one of the new versions, but the old version is outstanding. Very dramatic point. It slices like you would not believe. Love the Hades. So, let's flip this camera around and check out my Fair and Forge collection. Okay, guys. So, this is my Fair and Forge collection as it stands in March of 2022. Okay. It has gone through some subtractions and some additions from previous Fair and Forge collection videos. Check those out. You'll notice the differences. First off, you don't see the Civivi Odium anymore. The Odium was involved in a trade. So I don't have the Odium. So we're going to kick things off with the Mini Archbishop. I love the Archbishop lines. Okay. One of my favorite uh, Fair and Forge design is the Archbishop. So the Mini Archbishop, they just shrunk it into a more EDC friendly style size. Great choke up point. Good little liner lock knife. This is one of the older ones in 9CR18MOV, which is a good steal. But they now have the mini archbishops in Nitro V. And Nitro V is just a better steal. So if you like the design of the mini archbishop and the size, go for the Nitro V one. It's outstanding. I gotta get me a Nitro V Mini Archbishop. I had a Nitro V Prolox, which is sort of like that worn cliff sheep's foot style in this same size. I no longer have the Prolox. It was involved in a trade. Gotta get another Prolox back, but so far it has not made it back into the collection. So, those are two of the subtractions. Now, we're moving on to the Fair and Forge Falcon. This is another small EDC-friendly style knife, except this is titanium frame lock. Now, this is the Falcon, but it's in the milled pattern of the Wingman, as you can see. And this is the blacked out colorway. So the only thing that's shiny is the edge of the blade and the hardware. Everything else, the blade and the writing of course, uh, is blacked out and then you've got these little pops of silver. Titanium frame lock, S35N blade. Just a great little EDC size. Great chill with the choke up. Very nice blade, got a good belly, everything like that. I love the Falcon. It's a great little frame lock knife. Okay. This is also the Fair and Forge Falcon, but this is the plain side. Now, I got this originally in a trade, okay? And this knife originally looked like Snikes. So let's go with Snikes. Okay. This thing look like Snikes. Well, my very good friend, a very good brother of mine, Brothers of the Knives, 
If y'all don't follow Brothers of the Knives on YouTube and Instagram, go give him a follow. Salty Red Corn is an outstanding human being. Great brother of mine. I love him. We uh, send knives back and forth for review, and he does work on my knives for me. Well, he originally did some work on this knife to make it look better. Well, it wasn't completely up to his standard, so he just recently did some more work on this knife, and he did this anno job on the scales. He sort of bronzed the hardware. He did an acid wash with like some brass casings uh, in it and uh, with the stone wash to give it these little brass flakes in it. Um, he did awesome anno jobs on the pocket clip and the back spacer. He just really made this knife look good again instead of all those marks and trails and it just it was beat up and everything like that he made this look like an awesome knife again so titanium s35vn as well but now it's just got the salty red corn treatment to look like an awesome knife again moving on this is the Farm Forge Gent. This is in Black G10 Liner Lock S35VN. This is just a very simple, classic knife. If you Googled knife, this is what I think of. Classic drop point. Nice chull. Liner Lock. G10 on the outside. It's just simple, clean, S35VN blade. Just a really nice knife. So, I have another gent. This is the same liner lock S35VN blade, but this is in rosewood. So, it just adds a little bit more traditional classic to the handle so you've got the gent in black g10 or the gent in rosewood great small simple edc style knife i'm gonna leave this up here because next is the fair and forge crux now this is the plain side crux titanium frame lock milled titanium pocket clip, S35VN blade, just like the Gent, except this is like a larger version. Now, these are not carbon copies. This has got sort of like a swedge thing going on. It's made out of titanium. It's a frame lock, a little bit different shape, but you can see design language between this is a fair and forward design you can easily tell this is a fair and forward design you see this design language so if you google knife larger you go from gent to crux it is just a great knife so if you have larger hands or you just prefer a larger knife than like the gent Go for the crux. Same steel as 35VN, just titanium frame lock. It is an outstanding, awesome knife. This is the crux plain side. Let's put up the gent. And now we have the crux, but in one of the milled patterns. So, like, this was plain side falcon. This is the wingman falcon. Plain side crux milled crux in the saber pattern okay this one has a custom anno by jwedc so he did this green in the recess with sort of like this brassy uh anno on the titanium on the higher spot the same green on the milled pocket clip same S35VN blade. This is just 
a milled pattern handle that's got a custom anno job even on the back spacer. So I love the Crux. It is an outstanding knife. This is the Farron Forge Buck. Now this is available in plain side like this, but this is one of their milled patterns. They have a couple of different options. This milled pattern is called the Mothership. Sort of like it's got these dots around the pivot, sort of like uh, got these lines, UFOE type thing. But the buck is named after uh, a buccaneer style sword. So it's got this real cutlass style blade. So it's got a real swoopy blade. It's got a dramatic drop down here where the spine actually bows up towards this point and then drops down so real swoopy very good belly i love the buck it is titanium s 35 in as well titanium frame lock it's got uh, different colored anno on the pocket clip as well as the back spacer and the back spacer has unique mill into it but this has a thinner handle, wider blade, okay? Nice finger tool. Love the buck. I'm going to leave it right here because one of the newer additions is this next knife. This is a collaboration. This is designed by Fair and Forge, but made by Glow Rhino, okay? Now, Glow Rhino is famous for using tritium in all of their EDC products, their knives, their key fobs, their pry bars, all sorts of stuff. Check out Glow Rhino. So, this has a tritium in the thumb stud as well as tritium in the back spacer. So, if it's a dark room darker or low light area if it's in a bag or anything like that you're going to see the glow from the thumb stud and the glow from the back spacer so you can easily find the knife in those low light areas thumb stud and flipper black g10 liner lock nitro v blade and the reason why I wanted to leave this out here, I see a lot of design language similarities, sort of like the similarities between the gent and the crux. The buck, titanium frame lock, this is liner lock, but you've got this thinner handle, thinner handle, wider blade, wider blade. You've got this up-sweeping blade, up-sweeping blade, You've got to where the spine sort of does this up sweep towards a tip. And then from the tip, you drop down to the point. This is more dramatic. This is more subtle. But I still see a lot of design language between the Glow Rhino Lightbringer and the Fair and Forge Buck. Okay, so this Glow Rhino Lightbringer, this is the buck, and it's got a lot of similar characteristics. This Nitro V blade is super thin, super slicey, got great belly, very light knife. Really impressed with the Glow Rhino Lightbringer. Love it. It's a larger knife, as you can see. It's much larger than the buck. Well, it is larger than the buck. It's not a huge amount larger, but it's larger for sure. So this is, you can sort of say PM2 size. I compared it to a PM2, and it's right there, same size. So it is a great knife. I really recommend this Glow Rhino Light Brainer. And the fact that it's got tritium in it just makes it even cooler. Alright, another Fair Forge collaboration. This is a collaboration, instead of being made by Glow Rhino, designed by Fair Forge, this is designed by Fair Forge, 
made by Protec. This is the Mordax, one of the famous Farron Ford's design. You can get the Mordax in plain handle or one of these milled handled patterns. I like the milled handled patterns, as you can tell. Milled pattern, milled pattern, milled pattern. I like the plain sides, but I love a good milled pattern. It just adds some. This is aluminum with a 20 CV blade. The Mordax is one of my top three Fan Fours designs. Love this knife. Protec makes one of the best button lock manual knives, and the Mordax is no exception. They're famous for their Malibu, where the Mordax, uh, and it is, in my mind, even better because the blade on this is almost perfect. You've got a blade that is just about capable of doing any this type of thing that you need. Food prep, package opening, all around just classic drop point knife, good choke up, great handle, button lock action. The Mordax is outstanding. So you can definitely see the Farron Ford's design language, very simple, very clean, great ergonomics, and then the Protec uh, manufacturing and button lock action is just outstanding. Love the Mordax. Also in the top three Farron Ford's designs, the Stinger. I love the Stinger. I've actually got three Stingers. I had four, but I gifted one to Brothers of the Knives, Salty Redcorn, so he could have a Farron Ford design because he, he didn't have Farron Ford. He wanted to check one out. I said, here, have this because it is outstanding. This is one of uh, my favorite Farron Ford's design. And this knife right here, the Stinger, is one reason why I do not have a bug out on my channel yet. I do need to get a bug out for channel comparisons. But this is thin. This is light. This is super slicey. Everything that people love about the bug out, you have in the Stinger. Nitro V Steel. This one is Blade HQ exclusive in the black blade, black liners, JG10. And you can really tell on this version, look, look how much these liners are milled out, okay? This makes an exceptionally light knife, super thin, super slicey, great ergonomics. This is, I, I call this my bug out killer because this is what fills the role of the bug out for me. If I want thin, lightweight, slicey, Stinger is where I grab. So, Nitro V Black Blade G10 Blade XQ exclusive. This is just one of the ones you can find anywhere. This is the green G10 with the uh, sort of tumbled Nitro V finish. Outstanding knife. I love the Stinger. Okay. Well, just recently, Farron Forge released their titanium frame lock stingers. So, you have the exact dimensions and exact same Nitro V blade, but now you have a titanium frame lock that is available with plain titanium sides, carbon fiber inlay on the show side, or this, what they call uni copper carbon fiber. So it's got this copper in with the carbon fiber that just creates this unique pattern in that carbon fiber. I love the uni copper carbon fiber. See how the light plays off of it? 
It is just outstanding. And of course, titanium frame lock, same nitro rebate, same dimensions. And I'm telling you, yes, this is all titanium handle, but the weight difference is marginal. Because titanium, where this is still, even though this was milled out and everything, the, they kept it light. They kept it thin. They kept it slicey. They just gave you a titanium frame lock version of the knife we all love. So, the you can go liner lock, G10 scales... In a, uh, with the Nitro V-Blade, or you can go Nitro V-Blade and Titanium Frame Lock. Your choice, the Stinger is outstanding no matter what version you go with. I love the Stinger. So this is one of the newer models that you have not seen. Same model, but Titanium Frame Lock. Stinger is outstanding. So is it excessive to have three of the same knife in different colorways? Maybe. I don't care. I like them. Okay. And now the pinnacle of my Fair and Forge collection this is the Ferrum Forge Archbishop 3.0. Titanium frame lock. This is the Archbishop. Their full size knife, milled pocket clip. But one thing on the 3.0 that you don't see, look, you see the pivot. You see the pivot. Okay, screws, screws, nothing, not a thing. The show side on the Archbishop 3.0 is completely sterile. Awesome backspacer, but that backspacer, the way they designed it, allows just, you've got a screw here, you've got your pivot, and then you've got your two pocket clip, clip screws. Of course, you've got your screw for your lock bar insert, but you'll never remove that. So, minimum screws on the lock side. No screws besides the pivot on the show side. This is also like the Mordax rocking a 20 CV blade, but the blade is completely sterile except for that little bitty 20 cv right down there cpm 20 cv no markings you've got the firm forge in the pivot super clean i love the archbishop this is my favorite as far as aesthetically designed firm forge this is you say form firm forge this is what i immediately think of all these, I can see Fair and Forge in it. This is their classic design. And like I was saying with the Mini Archbishop, they basically took the Archbishop and shrunk it. Okay? Liner lock. But you can see the Archbishop design language in the Mini as well as the 3.0. So, that is my Fair and Forge collection as of March of 2022. Let's flip this camera around and wrap up this Fair and Forge video. Okay, what did you think of my Fair and Forge collection? Do you like Fair and Forge designs? Do you like their knives? Do you have any of their knives? If you do, let me know what's your favorite Fair and Forge design. Okay, out of my collection, what is the model that you like the most? I would love to know. 
I would love to know your thoughts on Fair and Forge and everything. Not everybody likes their designs. I love it. It is one of my favorite. I probably have more Fair and Forge design knives than any other brand, okay? Uh, more than my Spydercos, Hinders, Off-Grid, Dam Design. Numerically, I probably have more Fair and Forge design than any other in my collection. And I love to add new ones. Yes, I had to get rid of a couple and everything, but I've added some, and I plan on to continuing to add more Fair and Forge because I love just their knives and their design, their design especially. So I have no problem with collaborations as long as it's being designed by Fair and Forge and made well, whether it's their manufacturing themselves or a collab. Fair and Forge is an outstanding one of my favorites. I would love to know your thoughts about Fair and Forge. Please follow me on Instagram at Shield Arms. Y'all be safe out there. I'm King Raven, and I'll catch you in the next video.